Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the best shooting guards in NBA 2K23. My team here on this tier list. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 12,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day, and I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. We got about 26 of the best shooting guards in my team. If there's anybody that I left off the list that you'd like to hear my thoughts on at the shooting guard position, feel free to leave a comment, and I will let you know what I think. But starting off with Allen Houston, I think he is solid, not amazing. I think he has a good release and good saves and a very good offensive card. Decent enough defender, not a bad option at the shooting guard position by any means. Probably one of the more underrated shooting guards in my team, to be completely honest. And I think he's a very, very good card. Carmelo, I think, is going to go high A. Very, very high A. Is he an S tier top five shooting guard in the game? There are four guys that I know for sure I'm taking over him, and I think there is a fifth as well. So for you... I'm going to go no. I'm going to go no. As much as I like the card, I'm going to go no for Mr... Um, Carmelo Anthony he is an A tier card not quite S in my opinion uh, but very good release great movements good sigs um, very very good defender very good card like no doubt about it he's an elite level card for sure Karan Butler is decent not amazing I think B tier is fair for him as well maybe even C like he's good he's not great He's, he's just he's kind of just a, a pretty acceptable option good release pretty good card chuck cooper is not all that good in my opinion i don't like this card very much i think c is fair for him uh he's not bad he's just not great and i don't love his release it's good but it's not incredible i think he's a c tier guy to be honest danny green is a three and d mainly a little bit like doesn't have the best player in the world i think at this point with the shooting guard position being as deep as it is he is probably a d tier level guy to be completely honest uh, a guy like earl lloyd is high b in my opinion i think almost a to be honest like he is very very close to vince carter is the type of card that he is a very very good option at the um shooting guard position to be completely honest i think he's a very very solid card and i think you could borderline argue earl in a tier and actually i might wind up putting him in a tier as i look at this list i think he's an a tier guy i really do i think he's a back end of a tier guy gonna put earl lloyd up in that a tier Jalen brown is gonna go c for me don't love his release i like the card overall but I don't like his release very much, and I think that holds him back and prevents him from being higher than C to me. Kawhi, I really don't like the release. I think it's like pretty bleh. Not a big fan of that. So for me, definitely going to go pretty low on Kawhi Leonard. I think that's fair just because, I, despite being as great of a defender as he is, he's not an elite offensive card, has not been all year. Maybe Invincible Kawhi will finally break that streak. Finally, our first S tier guy, and that's KG. I am still going to say that Kevin Garnett is a top five shooting guard in the game. He's six foot 11, may not have quite the shot creation abilities as some of these other cards, but elite size, elite release, and elite defense, in addition to capable shot creation. That's an S tier guy. Clay Thompson, C or B? He's got Trey Escape. They made it better. I think he's pretty good. I was very surprised by how good Clay was. He's a B tier guy. I really do think so. I'm going to put him B, and I'm not going to hesitate from it. He's a very, very good card, and I think he deserves a B tier spot. Like, no doubt about it. Uh, LeBron James is an S tier power shooting guard. I know his release isn't changed, and I understand that his sigs are not incredible, but he's 6'9, but maybe the best defensive shooting guard in the game. Still has a capable enough release and is a capable enough shot creator. And an absolutely incredible athlete who feels incredibly fast with the ball in his hands. I was so impressed using LeBron. I did gameplay with him earlier. Y'all can check that out if y'all want. Big fan of the card, though, and I do think he deserves a pretty good spot. Malik Sealy, his main problem is his release. Kind of like a guy like Jalen Brown. Um, he's 6'8, and he's a very good defender, but I don't love, love the release. I think he's a C tier guy. I think that's fair. M uh, Mikhail Bridges is decent. Pretty good. I mean, very good 3 and D guy. He can create his own shot pretty well. Another one of the new cards from the Heat Wave promo. Uh, has very good all around stats and badges. He's a very capable shot creator. Um, good card. I, I think he's pretty darn solid. B tier guy. Uh, gonna go D tier for PG as well. I understand he's very big. That's his best value, but I do not like his release at all. And I do think he's a D tier guy. Another guy who's D tier, unfortunately, is Paul Pierce. His release sucks. Bad, bad releases will get you in the D tier at this point in the game. That's just how it is. And Paul Pierce is, is certainly a bad, bad release. No doubt about that. Ray Allen is undersized and only 6'5", a shooting guard. He's a very solid card and pretty fun to use, but I think he's still a C-tier guy because how undersized he is. I think he's going to struggle offensively a bit at times, and I think that's a fair spot to put him. going to put Richard Jefferson in C-tier as well. He is 6'7", and I like his release, and he's a very, very good defender, but I do still think he's not quite good enough to crack higher than C. Uh, Scotty Pippen does, have, does get into the S-tier. He's a very good card with an elite release, an incredible 3 and D guy. Honestly, he and LeBron are kind of similar. LeBron's a slightly better shot creator, I would say, whereas Pippen is going to be maybe even a tiny bit better defender and definitely has a better release but they're both incredible defensive guys who aren't really primary ball handlers but can get the job done lebron more so than scotty probably is a playmaker but they're both very very good cards for sure sean elliott i do think does crack the end of a tier although we're looking at the cards left on this list and i think it might be a little bit tough to put some of these guys uh place them because a lot of these guys are high tier cards that we're ending off this list with shane battier is b tier 6 8 with a very nice release and great defensive ability as well as the tray escape that is a amazing budget card a tier for steve smith lamello base great 
great sigs. Really, really good size. 6'8", again, a great all-around stats and badges. That's an A-tier guy. Going to put Terry Dishinger still in the S-tier. Yeah, I'm going to put six as an S-tier. I'm just going to do it. And Terry Dishinger is going to be one of them. He has, still has KPJ base. Still has really good movement. Still an elite slasher. He's still a top-tier card. Another guy who's a top-tier card for sure is Tim Thomas. I mean, he's an S-tier guy for sure. Second or third best small forward in the game. Sorry, shooting guard in the game, in my opinion, with an incredible release. Great sigs. And very good defensive ability as well as the fact that he's 6'10 at the 2. So he's an absolute dog. And then we have T-Mac, who is still the best shooting guard in the game, in my opinion. 6'8, KPJ base, Oscar upper, so the best release in the game. On very quick. Incredible defender. Amazing slasher. Amazing animations. He's an incredible card. Card. And then we have VC in the A tier. No doubt about that one. VC does deserve to be an A tier caliber guy. He's the probably the seventh or eighth or ninth best shooting guard in the game somewhere in there but i think it's fair to put him in a tier i think he's really good and then finally we're gonna put big z in the a tier as well i understand he's slow but he's seven foot three you can't argue with size the versatility gives you defensively being able to guard bigs like taco kp yao dikembe etc etc is very very useful as well and i think he's a great great card big fan of what he can do despite being as slow as he is because of the size and the shot making ability that he still has so with that being said that is going to do it for my list of the top 10 best sorry the best shooting guards in the game where i would rank them on a tier list let me know what you think of my list down in the comment section down below if you did enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace